Bomber is in federal custody more than a month and a half after the FBI says he detonated a pipe bomb outside the NAACP chapter in Colorado Springs. The FBI says they have arrested Thaddeus Murphy in connection with the bombing. For comparison, here's Murphy side by side with that sketch that was released last month. KRDO News Channel 13's Jonathan Petromala is live tonight with reaction. Jonathan? In this criminal complaint, Murphy admits to detonating that pipe bomb, but he says he wasn't targeting the NAACP. He was targeting an accountant who he says stole tax records from him. For more than a month, the man who investigators say admitted to detonating a pipe bomb outside of this building says everyone was reading the signs wrong. He was after an accountant, not the NAACP. Who, who would, once you've been caught or uh, apprehended, who would, uh, who would admit to it? Henry Allen, the local chapter president of the NAACP, says an accountant here doesn't add up. I've been in the building since 1999, and I've, I've not known of a tax office here. But the fact we have any explanation at all is detailed in this criminal complaint that reads like an episode of CSI. Witnesses first tipped off officials to be on the lookout for a white truck with a black hood. FBI agents found this private surveillance camera a few blocks away, and with this view, we're able to get video of the truck entering and leaving the area. A CSPD detective spotted a truck fitting the description after running the plates. Investigators had a suspect, 44-year-old Thaddeus Murphy. Just like this pipe bomb has left its mark on this building, it's also left an impression on the psyche of those who work inside. Actually, he will. He's actually um, finishing up on an Volunteers at the NAACP only missed one day of work, even though they didn't know if there would be another attack. I want to think that this won't happen again. I pray that this don't happen again, but I also had come to the realization that I never thought it would happen in the first place. Which is why, even as he sits with Murphy's mugshot in front of him, Allen doesn't feel as safe as he did before the bomb went off in January. Murphy does have a criminal record stretching back into the 1980s. Most recently, he served prison time for theft. Live in Colorado Springs, Jonathan Petromala, KRDO News Channel 13. Jonathan, thank you so much. Medical records are usually.